guys. Um, good college football game. I thought both sides fought extremely hard. Uh, at the end of the day, they made a couple more plays than we did, uh, especially uh, in the second half uh, of the game. Um, he, from an injury report uh, standpoint, uh, you know, we lost John Houston at halftime uh, with a hamstring. Uh, basically lost said to said where to a shoulder and then everybody else I'll be able to diagnose uh, once uh, we get back home and uh, see where we're at but uh, with that I'll take any questions that you have um, I thought the you know we had a couple turnovers in the second half we you know we had long field that we had to go um, you know we take the opening drive down get it down to the three yard line and have to kick a field goal um, you know then we have we're backed up we have a turnover um, we drive it back down to the 30 uh, we get a penalty that takes us back to the 40 yard line um, and the drive stops there uh, and then we have a second interception that was unfortunate unfortunate ball slipped out of the kid's hand trying to throw it away um, unfortunate ball bounced bounced the wrong way there do you feel JT got caught up in the moment a little too much, or why did he struggle with that? No, I, I don't know how much he struggled. He threw for over 300 yards, I think 330 something yards, and two touchdowns. Um, he, you know, I thought, he, you know, for, he, I thought he saw the field well. Uh, I'll get a chance to see the tape, but I thought it was it was one of those games where they loaded the box. It was man-to-man -man coverage, really challenged us early, and I was proud of our receivers. Uh, I thought they did a phenomenal job of winning their one-on-one -on -one matchups and making some big plays. Especially Especially down the field, um, so no, I don't think JT got caught up in the moment. Uh, you know, we we made two errors in that second half that that got us. Um, uh, but uh, for his first time out there, he didn't have the big eyes. Uh, he was going in the right spot with the with the ball. Trouble with containing Kelly throughout the game. Did you anticipate having that? Well, we knew coming into the game what you know Coach Kelly is. He's a run first guy. He always has been, and he's always had a good back. And coming into the game, we had a lot of respect for Joshua. I mean, he, he's a he's a very physical back and a very good runner. And um, you know, it's he got going tonight and gets over 30 carries. And and credit to him and their offensive line. I thought they did a nice job tonight um, of being able to get the ball outside uh, on the perimeter um, and uh, bouncing the ball outside. Uh, kid ran well tonight. It doesn't bother me. Uh, my my main my main heartbreak is for our seniors because uh, I wanted it for them. Um, I know the job. Uh, the job is if you win, people are going to pat you on the back, and if you lose, you know they're they're going to get after you. You know, and if you don't like it, don't don't be in this profession. I, I know it. It's like it rolls off my back, so I'm not worried about it. Do you feel like this is the toughest point? For you? Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty heartbroken right now for our kids, um, uh, you know, but uh, we've got a game left um, and an important game for our seniors. Um, you know, Marvell was great in there. He said, Coach, we come back to work Monday. We didn't get it right. Let's go try to do something special in, with this last regular season game. You know, and, and when you have kids like that, you're going to get out of bed tomorrow and you're going to work your tail off to, to try to do something special next week. Do you think there was a turning point in this game? At some point, where you? Um, you know, I, I, I was just, I was hoping that first drive. You know, when we were up three in the second half, we drive it the long way and and stall out on the three yard line to try to to try to get that instead of a six point game, a ten point game. I, that's the one that jumps out at me just a little bit uh, um, there. Uh, and then the last drive, I, I thought we were we were rolling there for a second. Uh, had some good matchups. So I thought the kids, you know, won on the route. We just we missed we missed the fourth down. Are the fourth down play. Are you more concerned for your job today than you were with this week? No, no, I'm not. I, I live I live just like I told you, Bill. I work my butt off every 24 hours trying to buy another 24. And you know if you work the, if you work as hard as you can and, and do the best job you can uh, for your kids and, and for the university you love, you have no regrets. And I don't. Um, I'll continue to work as hard as humanly possible. I've got great support, um, you know, from USC, from Lynn Swan, and uh, from these kids. And uh, I owe it to them to work as hard as I can for them. Earlier in the week, you mentioned that you killed the player. I'm not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Do you know that you're coming back in 2019? That's a great question for Mr. Swan, and that honor and respect to them, to to him. Uh, I'll let you ask him that. I, as I said earlier this week, I, I feel tremendous support. 
from Mr. Swan and what we are doing here and, and thank him for it because he's been with me every step of the way. Have you, you, seen, Lynn, have you seen Lynn uh, since the game ended or on the field after the game? Yeah, yeah. He just hugged, he just hugged my neck in there said, Coach, I'll see you Monday. Look forward to it. Okay. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Guys.